The Pee-wee planet Pluto, organized at the farthest reaches of our planetary gathering, is wrapped by an immense number of cold divine bodies and space rocks inside the Kuiper Belt, an enormous nearby of space beyond Neptune. Once revered as the tenth planet, Pluto gets its name from the Roman heavenly power of the secret world. However, in a significant moment in cosmic history in 26, Pluto was definitive limited from its planetary status, reflecting the developing understanding of our limitless region. Our current enthusiasm for the planetary gathering portrays a weaving of eminent components, different space rocks, a select get-together of minor planets, and a record of just eight conventional planets. Throughout the chronicles of human interest, navigating many long stretches of cosmic discernment and examination, how we interpret these gaudy bodies has bloomed. Generally, we've gained insights into their designs, methods of acting, and probable bearableness, painting a more nuanced picture of our galactic climate. Yet, in the middle of our creating data, the alluring draw of our own reality keeps on appealing examination and revelation. The James Webb Space Telescope, a pinnacle of modern astronomical advancement, stands ready to loosen up some of these pausing privileged insights, including those enveloping Pluto. No matter what its unobtrusive size and unpredictable circle, Pluto held an outstanding spot in the hearts of Varius for very quite a long time, flaunting the distinction of being the smallest moon-bearing object in our nearby planet bunch. Pluto's renaming ignited an intense reaction from the public, highlighting the significant association people felt toward this faraway sublime body. However, coherent carefulness dictated that for an object to deserve planetary status, it should adhere to three key models. Revolving around the Sun, having satisfactory mass to anticipate in practically round shape under its gravity, and its orbital to get way free from junk. Rules that Pluto eventually failed to meet with its uneven orbital way. The term planet has gone through an intriguing advancement all through the range of cosmic history. Initially, it wrapped any extensive heavenly body saw in the sky, including moons and space rocks. Pluto's disclosure in 1930 by American cosmologist Clyde Thomas stirred worldwide excitement just to be followed by discoveries of likewise-sized objects inside its region, stirring up doubts about its planetary level in the midst of the subsequent chit-chat. Professor Mike Brown's important disclosure of Eris, a Kuiper Belt object identical in size to Pluto, further messed everything up, challenging the regular significance of a planet. This prompted a strong talk inside the cosmic neighborhood, leading to Pluto's renaming as a Bantam planet during the International Galactic Association gathering in Prague in 2006. Subsequently, Pluto's evolution from planetary observability to undersized planet tasks serves as a strong indication of the dynamic nature of scientific understanding and the unending excursion for clarity amid the vast domain of the universe. Later wide discussion, a reevaluated meaning of a planet was proposed and put to a vote during the August gathering of the International Galactic Association the real body at risk for naming heavenly articles and defining cosmic terms. In this social event, standard scientists grappled with the need to make sense of the order of divine bodies, particularly those in the outer ranges of our nearby planet bunch. Following contemplations, Pee-wee planet status was introduced upon both Pluto and Eris. This decision signified a departure from the ordinary understanding of what is a planet and reflected a more nuanced perception of heavenly elements. Eris, as of late known as 23313 and nicknamed Xena, was renamed after the Greek goddess of contention, reflecting the conversation and conversation surrounding its grouping. Mike Brown, a planetary scientist at Caltech whose work contributed to the renaming of Pluto, gained wide appreciation for his work in the process. As an enthusiastic signal to his consideration, Brown obtained the loving moniker Pluto Killer on Twitter. The changed grouping prompted the brief reproduction and refreshing of enlightening materials, including standards and textbooks, to reflect the new appreciation of Pluto and Eris as little planets. However, not all individuals from the laid-out logical local area quickly embraced the IU significance of a planet. Some planetary specialists, particularly those with an emphasis on Pluto and comparable objects, expressed qualms about the new order estimates. This difference of appraisal began progressing conversations within the field of room science concerning the specific standards for ordering magnificent bodies. Scientists added to these conversations through educational papers that examined historical need in scientific composition. They argued against the IU significance of a planet, referring to examples, for example, Ceres, 
which was initially named a planet upon its disclosure in 1801 but later renamed as a space rock as more objects were tracked down in the space rock belt. The conversation over the significance of a planet loosened up past logical circles and into greater social discussions, raising requests concerning the possibility of sensible game plan and the consequences of renaming deep-rooted cosmic terms. Not enduring these conversations, sensible investigation continued unabated. In 2015, NASA's new Skyline space contraption led a vital flyby of Pluto, giving surprising encounters into this distant world. The mission revealed a dynamic and geologically dynamic planetoid with features like nitrogen veins and an obvious heart-shaped region, beguiling people in general's imaginative psyche. As we consider these enhancements, it ends up being obvious that how we might interpret the nearby planet bunch and its constituent bodies continues to foster. The renaming of Pluto and Eris as little planets represents an achievement in our persistent examination of the universe, highlighting the multifaceted nature and assortment of universes beyond Earth. As new skylines gone through space at a stunning speed of 32,300 miles per hour, it gave an outstanding opportunity to get organized photos of Pluto's near side during its closest methodology. However, due to the course of action of the space contraption and the spot of the Sun, the furthest side of Pluto, often referred to as the obscured side, remained hidden away from regardless view during the flyby. Analysts painstakingly analyzed pictures taken by the van days before its insight to obtain pieces of information into this bewildering area. Not enduring the challenges presented by the limited objective of these photos, they offered an exceptional level of detail, allowing scientists to see surface components down to around one mile across. This level of clarity far surpassed past insights, including those from the Hubble Space Telescope, which circles Earth. The assessment of these photos has yielded new perspectives on Pluto's dynamic nature. Scientists are by now delving into the landscape to unravel privileged insights like the normal presence of an ocean under the virus surface and the components driving surface cycles. Several intriguing disclosures even demonstrate the opportunity of Pluto's unforgiving environment supporting microbial life. However, close by these new disclosures come new privileged insights. Lately, found ice advancements appearing to be high-rises circle Pluto's far side, their beginnings shrouded in uncertainty. Richard Beinel, a planetary specialist engaged with the new skyline's main goal, reasonably depicts Pluto as the gift that keeps on giving, as it keeps on surprising researchers with its complexity. Before the new skyline's mission, the most organized pictures of Pluto came from the Hubble Space Telescope, revealing a world with specific surface components. However, it was the new Skyline space device that surrendered the essential close viewpoints on Pluto's scene, including the striking heart-shaped incorporate and the immense frozen bowl known as Sputnik Plum. The revelation of Sputnik Plum's offbeat game plan with Pluto's greatest moon, Charon, raised captivating issues about its game plan. A few specialists speculate that the bow's creation could have involved a subsurface ocean rising to the surface, causing immense gravitational ments. Extra evidence supporting the presence of a subsurface ocean comes from the discovery of smelling salts in the ice covering Sputnik Plum. This finding suggests geographical movement underneath the surface, indicating a dynamic and developing world. As specialists continue to explore the information accumulated by new skylines, how we might interpret Pluto's intricate and dynamic nature expands, opening new roads of investigation and request. The wild landscape on Pluto's far side, this combined of inclines, gaps, and fields bears similarity to components seen on other brilliant bodies, where subsurface oceans are thought. While the objective of pictures from Pluto's far side remains limited, specialists restlessly expect future missions for closer evaluation. Irregularities fuel hypothesis about Pluto's underlying history and the normal job of its subsurface ocean in shaping its surface. These discoveries challenge how we could interpret planet airy advancement and highlight the dynamic nature of faraway universes like Pluto. As new skylines proceeded with its endeavor, analysts hypothesized about the destiny of Pluto's rough center. Over the long haul, radioactive rot inside the center would have generated adequate power to gather the encompassing ice, prompting surface waves similar to the wrinkling of an apple put away in a fridge. Assuming that this situation happened, Pluto's surface ought to give indications of wrinkling and breaking in later photographs. However, when new skylines captured photos of Pluto's far side, 
it essentially revealed gaps rather than widespread wrinkling. These gaps suggest that Pluto's sea once fluid had somewhat frozen over time. Truly, a tremendous break running the length of the near side, folding over the entirety of the planet, looked like Earth's East African break framework. This break likely came about from the freezing and expansion of the ocean, showing the sea's rapid cooling upon exposure deep down, chilling the surface. The age of the break demonstrated that the ocean began cooling rapidly after coming to the surface, potentially fostering conditions conducive to marine life. Besides, the red shade of the water, characteristic of organic particles, suggested the presence of complex organic matter. Laboratory tests have demonstrated that such particles can form through radiation like solar wind or cosmic rays, suggesting a potential scenario for their presence on Pluto. Additionally, the discovery of ammonia-bound ice on Pluto's near side supports the idea that the peewee planet could hold onto rich organic combinations. While this doesn't induce the beginning of life on Pluto, it suggests the potential for life to endure, assuming conditions were positive. Measurements from Pluto's far side have not only supported the mission forever, but have also led to the discovery of fascinating geological features like ice formations resembling tall structures. These edges, distributed evenly and rising sharply up high, present a significant mystery. Phantom measurements show that they are made out of methane ice, forming a belt around the equator. However, their origin remains uncertain with speculations ranging from air solidifying to erosion by extreme sunlight. Grasping Pluto's cold pieces and landscape requires a deep examination of its environment. Researchers are refining climate models to better reproduce observed quirks and seek to replicate Pluto's air and sea conditions in lab settings. While the James Webb Space Telescope can't capture high-resolution pictures of Pluto, its longer frequencies make it likely to reveal amazing discoveries. As we continue to unravel Pluto's mysteries, we embark on a journey critical of humankind's insatiable mission for knowledge and the dynamic evolution of how we might interpret the universe through ongoing examination and investigation. It was indisputably the main article that visited our region in the planetary gathering. From outside the planetary gathering it moved excessively speedy to at any point be bound to the sun the absolute first thing that we have. Seen as coming to us from interstellar. Space from different spots individuals have been. Examining space all through later. Many years normally with the ones that go. Visit the farthest wraps up of the. Sun-based structure and past to find. Things that we can't with a standard. Telescope the general idea is that. These things exist there therein. Space and we simply have to continue to. Find them yet with the disclosure. Of Umu Amua, all of that changed the incredible visitor from significant space, has been examined a ton for the past. Scarcely any weeks this thing is fundamentally a piece of another close by planet bunch that was eliminated yet as of now the James. Webb telescope just revealed the authentic image of the space beast and well. It's uncovered things that no one saw. Coming oblige us as we dig more significant into this image and how the disclosure of UUA has affected the universe of science in space and Mwamua is a unusual and captivating thing no question it ascended out of the profundities of room furthermore made the entire world stop unexpectedly at the point when the article was certified everyone expected to learn about it since not at all like this had any time been Found before this drawn-out stoga formed. Visitor appeared in our close by planet. Bunch from a distant space past our own. It's essentially an odd. Interstellar explorer meandering through. The immeasurability of space to pay us a. Transitory visit particularly impossible to miss. Appearance which kind of looked looks. Like a thin stogie or as I like to call. It an endless needle makes it not at. All like anything we have encountered. Prior to this outstanding exposure, spread out on October 19, 2017, when the Dish Stars One Telescope in Hawaii investigated the night sky and revealed the presence of Umamu, it was an extraordinary event as this meant the introductory time stargazers recognized and things starting from outside our planetary gathering extensively more crazy. 
was the way that it truly made it as far as conceivable into our planetary gathering. What's more was going straightforwardly toward Earth UA's. Astonishing appearance was probable one of the best things that had ever happened and it was basic to bounce further into it since it seemed like the best approach to opening the insider facts of our tremendous ecological components that is the explanation a certifiable image of it is a serious matter with the exception of a picture isn't where they're going to stop scientists have made game arrangements to utilize the momentous James Webb Space Telescope for mulling over interstellar things as they go through our close by planet bunch being the first of its sort the telescope's fantastic characteristics lie in its ability to gather and take apart infrared light making it an significant mechanical assembly for this particular assessment outfitted with forefront significant standard and high mindfulness instruments the web telescope has an unparalleled capacity to see fights that are unnecessarily old far away or shut down for different telescopes to get this uncommon responsiveness and power make an intriguing opportunity ch4 scientists to dive foolishly into the insider facts of interstellar things disentangling their manufactured plan also loosening up their genuine quintessence all of this is fundamentally hard to study from Earth if you just look at the articles without truly getting a very unequivocal look at them. The James Webb Space Telescope's high level arrangement of infrared cameras adds an extra layer of precision to the image of interstellar articles with its key the telescope can deliver complex nuances and nuances depicting these beguiling heavenly visitors as they adventure inside our observational reach so whether or not you are not getting real photos that are in one piece it's able to put hundreds on the off chance that not an enormous number of pictures together to make one uber picture that triumphs ultimately every single detail you would any time need to see since is ready to do getting the smallest and by and large precarious pieces of these interstellar articles the web Telescope enables analysts to coordinate crucial investigation and disentangle the secrets that falsehood hidden away in inside the profundities of the universe. Anyway, that is just the start. The Webb Telescope actually